Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. This evening I have Old Scrooge Christmas Ale by Silver City Brewing. It's been a little bit since I've done a Silver City beer. Um, this is a whiskey oak barrel aged. It says oak barrel aged on the label and on the um, writing it says it's a, a whiskey barrel. So uh, this sounds very interesting. Um, being a Christmas ale, I'm expecting this to be maybe a, a brown ale or something like that. And to have uh, some of those, some of the, the characteristic or iconic um, kind of Christmas related flavors. This is also a pretty heavy one. It comes in at 9.9% 9 9 uh, ABV. And their malts, they have caramel and munich malts in addition to northwest pale and british pale so it's kind of a combination it's it appears to be um several different malts of different colors which that's entirely common that's all the breweries do that um and it notes the hops as well which uh leads me to believe this is going to be a relatively hop forward christmas ale it doesn't really define itself any other way it doesn't try to say it's a pale ale or a brown ale um, but with the munich and the <laughs> caramel <laughs> with the munich and the caramel malts being listed there um munich malts are uh what you expect in i believe um oktoberfest beers so that kind of color so so brown amber red kind of stuff um and uh yeah all that rambling nonsense uh to say i don't know what to expect with this i expect it to be hoppy I expect it to be dark, darker colored rather than pale, you know, amber, red, brown versus pale. And I expect it to somehow be um, an iconic Christmas kind of flavor in whatever sense that's going to be. But let's uh, dive in and find out for sure. Eh? So, yeah, definitely brown. Um, maybe a bit of a flatter brown than uh, the... Sam Adams, which was a real vibrant, like, amber honey colored. Um, this is not quite so cleanly filtered. Uh, the head is thin, but there. I'm picking up banana before sticking my nose in. That's interesting. So other beers that have, like, banana flavors to the, to the you know, to the nose would be, like, Hefeweizen's. So that's interesting. Makes me wonder what yeasts they used. And oh goodness. Oh, you know what? Okay, that's the whiskey barrel. That's <laughs> definitely the whiskey barrel. Okay, so from a few feet away, ah, inches away, the kind of that, that syrupy um, alcohol sweetness of a whiskey, uh, like a thick whiskey or whiskey syrup, could be banana-esque. And that's what I'm picking up. Because once I got my nose in there, yeah, it was whiskey barrel and like um, super dark, uh, sweet brown uh, stout kind of, sweet brown stout, sweet black stout kind of flavors. That's interesting. I So there's there's the, the smallest hint of an alcohol burn, which you'd expect from a 10% beer. You'd, you'd expect to be able to smell the alcohol, but it's mostly that just really thick, sweet, almost banana-like, um, I don't know, I hear some people, you know, uh, uh, UK people talk about banoffee, which I guess is like a toffeed banana, or, or a, maybe a, a, a banana, um, what's that called when you put sugar on a banana and you, you flame it, um, I wonder if it's that sort of thing, that's kind of the things that are coming to mind, is like super sweet, like ripe banana uh, to sweet whiskey kind of um, and that, that touch of, of alcohol burn. It smells good. It doesn't smell unpleasant at all. That said, uh, super sweet beers, I enjoy best in moderation, small amounts. And based on the smell of this, it smells like it's going to be a super sweet beer. So we'll see. Hmm. Okay. 
the the taste holds up to the flavor to <laughs> the taste holds up to the flavor the, the the taste holds up to the smell and and continues add some more dimension and just skirts getting cloying it, it's it's right to the edge of being cloying and and too sickly syrupy sweet um, but it stays just to the just to the side of it and and it's pretty nice it's a pretty special tasting beer so so that sweet kind of you know sugar flamed banana um, but more recognizably whiskey-esque then and, and that's that's kind of there through the whole thing but then you're also tasting this um, like brown bread not toasted just like a, a, uh, a brown bread uh, kind of maltiness the, the malts are there they're present uh, just barely but they're there and then there's maybe a hint of dry dark chocolate like Baker's chocolate or cocoa powder um, or maybe even espresso just the the barest touch of that at the very end and that kind of ends the sweetness and then you're left with this kind of brown bread uh, lingering definitely the alcohol the alcohol is there the brown bread and this lingering warmth from the alcohol that's that's a very nicely done little beer journey there what else no well, that's about it I think yeah so that's pretty tasty I like that um, like I said it just skirts the edges of being cloyingly sweet I personally am gonna enjoy this more cold than I would at room temperature um, yeah <laughs> I just would that's just how it is uh, that that's gonna help attenuate the sweetness make it you know stay to that side of it help emphasize the other flavors that that I that I'm gonna appreciate more that breadiness is a real nice kind of a foundation that gives some depth to the beer with, you know, preventing the the runaway the sweetness from just being this runaway you know cloy cloy sweet train sweet cloy train um, and then the, uh, the the just the hint that little bite at the end is really quite pleasant and I'm guessing that's the hops this rates itself as an IBU uh, 60 IBU so that's that's supposed to be relatively bitter and I'm not sure that I pick up that bitterness um, you know, this is fresh out of the fridge it's been out a few minutes uh, so it should be at fridge temp low 40s and and I'm not picking up any any of the hot bitterness uh, so I'm not I'm not sure where, where that 60 IBU is coming from unless it's just kind of balancing and counteracting that sweetness and the breadiness is the only thing that shows through anyways this has been the Oak Age Old Scrooge Christmas Ale by Silver City Brewery. And they make some pretty decent beers. Um, I'm Matthew. I've been chewing the brew. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.